<sighs> Boy, I'm uh, hiking. I'm really high in the mountains, and it's whew, it's hard to breathe up at this high altitude. Have you ever noticed that? If you go up high in the mountains, you go hiking or biking. It's a, a lot harder than usual to breathe. I wonder why that is. Hmm. <laughs> Like I was saying, it's really hard to breathe up here, and I can't figure out why. And it's my old college roommate, Bob the Mountain Goat. He'll know why it's hard to breathe up here. He was always the smart one. Bob, get over here. Oh, hello, Anthony. So you're wondering why it's harder to breathe in the mountains, are you? Huh? Well, it's just simple physics, really. Have you ever heard of a Pressure gradient? A, a pressure gradient? No, I, I haven't heard of that. What is it? Well, you do know what the atmosphere is, don't you? Right, sure, the atmosphere. It's the air that surrounds the whole planet. It's what we breathe. I, I love the atmosphere. Well, you gotta remember that air is compressible. That means we can squish all the molecules together if we want. So when you're down at sea level, why you've got pretty much the whole atmosphere above you pushing down with the weight of all that air. And all that weight compresses the gas molecules where you are. It squishes them together so there's more air around you to breathe. I see. But when you're up high, high in the mountains, why, there's not much air above you to do the pushing down. Air molecules around you just aren't packed together so close, so you gotta breathe more to get the same number of oxygen molecules in you. Bob, that's so simple. I'm so glad you were here to explain that to us. No problem. Hey, you wanna join me and graze on some of this grass? It's really tasty. Oh, I couldn't possibly. I'm stuffed. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Take care. Well, there you have it. It's harder to breathe in the mountains because, well, there's less air to breathe.